Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. In this one today, we're going to be showing you how to teleport using your third person character inside of Unreal Engine. And we're going to do this in only a couple of minutes time. It's really easy and simple. So grab a coffee and let's get started. Okay, so what we want to do is just create a new project. I want to show you how to do it from scratch. Teleport, just like this. I'm just going to rename it that. Third person character and then click create. This is going to give us a brand new project and we can go from there. Okay, right, here we are in the third person map and as you can see, it's just a default map. And one thing we need to do is make sure you have the uh, feature or content pack. So click add feature content pack and start a content. We're going to need this, okay? Not necessary, but I like to use this anyway. It looks cool. Okay, what we want to do is go to press control and space we're going to go to third person character, blueprints, BP third person character. This is our character that we're going to use. If you have a different character, you can just use that. The code is exactly the same and there shouldn't be any problems whatsoever. Okay. Now, what we need to do is tell the engine what we want to do. And how we do that is by adding a import action. Okay. So we need to go to imports and IMC default which is used for jumping, moving, and looking around. And as you can see, you can press space bar and then obviously WASD. That's how we do that. Let's go into actions as well and see jump. We're going to press control and D to duplicate this. I'm going to rename it IA underscore teleport like that. All right. This, we don't actually have to do anything. Just click save. And in the mappings, we're going to click this little plus. Click none. And we're going to look for teleport. Then we can assign a key to the teleport button. So let's do E, for example. So if you click here, you just click E. And if you wanted to add a controller button, we would do the exact same thing. And you just go control, wait, where is it? Oh, it's gamepad, gamepad. And then just click any button that you want, okay? But we don't need to do that. I'm just gonna use keyboard and mouse for now. And there we go. Now. IA underscore teleport. If we just search this in the event graph, it'll give us a few options here. And when we press this, this is basically what it'll do. Print string. So when I press this teleport button that we've assigned, it should print teleport in the top left like this. Oh, print hello. There we go. All right. So that shows that the code is working and we've set up the inputs correctly. Now, what do we need to do? So firstly, we want to get the world location of our character and we want to teleport or we could get the follow camera location. So let's actually get out the follow camera. Just drag out by holding the control and drag off and search for get world, uh, oops, world uh, location and get forward vector get forward vector just like this so what this does this gets the location of the camera inside the map no matter where it is and then this it sees it is basically which way the camera is pointing forward right so i'll try and explain it a little bit better um by showing you so let's actually just search for line trace and we are going to line trace by channel and we're going to drag that into started just like this right so this is asking us, where do we want this line trace to start? And where do we want it to end? Well, we want it to start wherever the camera is here. And where do we want it to end? Well, we don't want it to end in the exact same place. So we're going to get the world location and the forward vector. And then we're going to add this. Uh, sorry, we're going to multiply by, say, 2000. So what we need to do, we can't do X, Y, Z. So we need to right click to float single precision and we're going to do 2500 like this so this is the range that we can teleport so if you put like 10,000 you'd be able to teleport like all the way across the level if we did 200 you'd only be able to teleport a little tiny bit okay now what do we need to do we need to add these two together so add just like this and let's change uh, sorry let's drag this into here and i don't like the way that looks so let's just drag and drag like that and it should look something like this. So basically what we're doing, we're pressing the button and then we're starting a line trace and the line trace is asking, where do you want this to start from? So follow camera and we get the world location. That's where the start is. And then we get the forward vector, the way we're facing, adding 2000, well, multiplying it by 2500 units. And then we're adding that together. 
to create this line trace and that is where it's going to end right and then if we actually just go into debug type and go for duration it'll show this uh, line trace for one second so we just go in here click play and i'll show you how this is working we're pressing e and it's shooting off a line so the line is starting from wherever the camera is as you can see like if i look up camera starts camera will be up there won't it and it's ending 2500 units in that direction whichever way we're facing the forward vector hopefully that makes sense <laughs> right okay so now we have that we can actually work with this and firstly what i want to do is out of the out hit i'm going to drag out and search for break break hit result just like this and we can do a couple of things here i'm going to use location you can use impact point or whatever and so whatever location the line trace hits is going to be here right so if i actually just uh oh no i'm actually not going to do that i'm going to search for print string and then this should convert it to a text and show you what i mean so if i do this and put click play it should print wherever the line trace hits right there we go so that's the xyz for our line trace over there and you can see when we move it changes so yeah, that's basically how that works so we can actually delete that we don't need that but we're actually going to use this so firstly drag it out of location and we're going to set the world location here like this and it's asking us what do we want to set and we're going to use the capsule because everything is inherited to the capsule so it'll move all of them basically and um yeah let's just align these by holding Selecting them all, pressing Q, that will align everything just like this. And that is looking pretty good. Now, a couple more things we need to do. If you do it a different way and you add delays, so if I was to click uh, E and teleport like this, as you can see, it's working. We're teleporting to wherever. <laughs> yeah, if we do this and just teleport wherever we want, we could actually add a delay so it looks a little bit better. Or, or as well, what we can do is go into content and search for cascade particle system deprecated. This is the old one, okay? And we get these particle effects, right? So if we get the explosion and on started, we want to fire off this cascade particle system when we press the button. So let me just show that. We will be doing this and it'll do this cool cascade particle system like that. And we are now teleporting with some cool little effects. And if you encounter any problems with the movement, a couple of things you can do is once you set the world location, you can actually disable. Uh, sorry. When we press the button, we want to disable the movement. So disable uh move uh movement like this right move that over there move that over there so this is just in case you haven't done like any errors or anything so we're disabling the movement so when we do this now we will not be able to move and we'll be stuck right and then what you can do uh there is actually not a there's not a node for enable movement i don't think now, there's no node for enable movement, but what we can do is set the movement. Oh, set movement mode like this to walking, and that's basically what we want. And then that will just re enable the, uh, the movement so we can actually walk around again. Okay, that's just in case you're having any errors. But I'm going to delete this, start just like this, and this is our code for teleporting. So if we just highlight everything and press C, we can actually comment this and rename it. Teleport. And that is going to do it. Here we go. Now we can actually teleport with our third person character. And it's only took us a couple of minutes. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And yeah, peace.